Hello everyone, welcome to today's class. My name is Dolapo of DoDB Crafts, and um, in this video I'll be showing you how to make a beautiful turban with a double rose design. And you know how it is for turban making, you can decide to make any, you can decide to make use of any fabric of choice. So I have with me this silk fabric I have at home, I just came across this. At home and I feel this will also come this will come out fine okay so you can decide to use any fabric of choice this fabric here is a silk fabric it is not stretchy I use any fabric of choice okay as long as it's going to be beautiful then I have my crinoline this is crinoline of about um, two inches width it's about three inches width Yes, this is about three inches width okay and the length i'll talk about the length as we proceed i have these two pieces they're actually left over from previous projects so if you can just guess one color or the one that matches the color of the fabric is fine so i have my matching color of thread and my long needle i have my scissors and the measuring tape first of all before you proceed you need to make your turban base like i already did now i'm going to cut out what i need for this project and um, we'll proceed from there so i have the two pieces cut out for my fabric okay these are going to be used for the roses you no know, it's a, a double rose design and the length is what i have here is for the five inches length the length is for the five inches while the breadth or the width is six inches why do i have six inches here this could be up to seven inches but the reason why i did my own six inches is because the crinoline i have that i'm going to be putting inside because this crinoline is going to be sitting in between or the center of this fabric the crinoline i have is three inches wide can you see so that's why I just reduced this to six inches so we'll not have too much excess on the width part so normally it may actually be up to seven inches then for the length I have 45 inches length here I don't want my rose to be too big that's if eventually I'm going to be the one to put on this cap I always like my things to be very very moderate so I have 45 inches here so if you want your rose to be a little bit big you can make it up to 50 inches but moderately between 45 inches and 50 inches is recommended now i have the same measurements replicated on the second piece so they are the same measurements to get your needle and thread ready make sure your thread is long enough to cover the whole process of for each piece okay so i have this doubled multiple i think i doubled it twice and I'll be needing my UHU gum or glue. I didn't say that at the beginning. So I need my UHU glue. Let me just get that. So I have my UHU glue. And what I'll be doing with this is this. I'm going to tie one end of the crinoline. Just like if you are into fascinator making, you should understand how crinoline tying, I mean tying the ends of crinoline is. So I'm going to just bring the end together and tie it with my thread. now the length of my crinoline which is why i said i'm was uh, i said i was going to mention that later this length is 45 inches the length of my crinoline should be about 50 inches between 48 to 50 inches in other words your crinoline should be longer by the length of your fabric by three to five inches i hope you're getting me this is for five inches for the length of the fabric so my crinoline is about 48 inches Okay, so now starting from one end, I was starting from here. This is the wrong side of my fabric. I'm going to place my crinoline on, on it like this. And I'll bring this edge out maybe by two inches or one inch. Now I'm going to place it like this and I'll fold this. Way. So you can decide to iron your fabric very well before you continue with this step okay 
the quinoa is coming out and from here okay i'm going to start sewing the stitches from here not from here i'll start sewing the stitches from here this way so i'll get my needle and thread as you can see and i'll start from here make sure that the crino needle touches this edge so you're going to be pushing and you take your time at this point just push pull like that and i'll start sewing my new stitches from here run my stitches like that to this point and you can see the excess crinoline I left here about 1.5 inches okay or 1 inch is fine you can just trim that off the two so I'm going to just gather this off okay and then finish my new stitches I'm sewing it all this way I'm coming this way I've gotten to this point as you can see so I'm going to sew my new stitches up to this point that's this way while I gather the tip of the crinoline. So I'll just go ahead and do that like that. Make sure that the crinoline touches the folded part very well. Okay, and then um, you can just drag. You see, I just drag it like that. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I have an issue with my voice right now. The weather is kind of not friendly at this moment. So, um, at this point, I will just get out my crinoline right, and tie it. Like that so this is going to be repeated on the second piece I'll make my rows the same way and then I'll be back to show you the next step okay, so I have this ready now and it's time for us to arrange our rows so this is my crinoline and I'm going to be hiding it right here so that at the end of the day it doesn't show on top of the fabric okay So your, your rows can actually look anyhow you can just arrange it anyhow so under here i'm also going to add i'll add the crinoline your rows could be very it could be wide like this okay or you can make it smaller okay depends on how you want it I'll just go ahead and tag this down. You may notice that they may not really be exactly, they may not look exactly the same, but. So I'll be placing my roses right here and here. I'll just apply glue on this part. I'll allow it dry a little. I'll do the same on the second one. I'll allow it dry a little. And I'm going to fix it to where I want it to be.
go ahead and use my needle and try to tack my roses so this is where i'm going to be tacking my roses from i'll be tacking this last layer of the roses like that down to the cap like this just the last layer Thank you.